This video will describe how to manually create a shipment on EasyShip. This feature is not intended for order fulfillment. So if you operate an e-commerce store, we suggest using the advanced creation function. Now that's out of the way, let's get started. Navigate to basic under the create shipments tab. On the top of the page, your default ship from address will be pre-selected. But if you're shipping from somewhere new, you can enter an address manually. You can even select a different country to ship from. Some of these countries will have in-house easy ship rates and others will require a courier account to be integrated. Once your origin address is selected, proceed to enter the destination address. If you're shipping to a residential area, mark it as such to avoid unexpected surcharges. Now that the addresses are entered, let's move to step two. This section prompts us to enter shipment information. If the shipment is associated with a store, feel free to add a sales channel. By default, it will be set as direct sales. Additionally, you can enter an order number if applicable. To keep the shipment safe, we'll purchase insurance in case of loss or damage. You may also notice an option to include a return label. The great thing about this feature is you'll only be charged if it gets used. At the moment, this feature is only available for domestic US shipments. Now it's time to enter the dimensions and weight of the box that you're using to ship. Just make sure that all the information that you enter is as accurate as possible. Now describe the product that you're shipping. In this example, we're shipping a brown leather bag. We'll assign the appropriate category and value. Just remember, if you're shipping a parcel internationally, ensure you enter an accurate value to avoid issues at customs. Note that you can change the quantity of the items you're shipping you can add another item, and you can even duplicate an existing item in the shipment. Now that's complete, let's skip to the next step in this process where we'll select a courier service for the shipment. The cheapest, best value, and fastest options will be clearly labeled. As you can see, there are many options to choose from. In this example, we'll choose USPS First Class. Hover over the courier and click Select. On the next step, we'll see the handover option. Luckily for us, USPS offers a free pickup as well as a drop-off option. To schedule the pickup, we'll enter our preferred date and time for collection. Moving on to the next step, we'll see a breakdown of the total cost. If you don't already have a card saved, you'll be prompted to enter payment information. And just like that, your shipment is created. The label will be waiting for you in the Manage Shipments to Download section of the dashboard. All you have to do is go ahead and select a shipment and click Generate All Documents in the top right hand corner. You'll then see your document generating in the document queue. You can either download or print directly from the dashboard. Now once you've printed, attach the label to your package and all you have to do is wait for USPS to come and pick it up. My name is Max and it's been a pleasure to walk you through this process today. If you have any questions, contact the support team. We're always here to help. Happy shipping!